Hi, I'm Dave from Smithville RV, giving you a tour today of the Winnebago Micro Mini 2108 DS. Here at Smithville RV, we have excellent service, and very competitive pricing, and no hidden fees. For the last several years, we have won the Winnebago Flying W Award for excellence in customer service before and after the sale. Starting here on the campsite, you'll notice we've got a nice pass-through storage door here up front. It's got the nice slam latch door latches, so more higher end door latches there. The magnetic uh, fasteners there, really nice touch. Inside, you'll notice a little sticker here. It's prepped for an inverter, and that's what change they made for the 2024 models. Over here, we've got a prep for side mount cameras. That's another change they made for 2024, so clever innovation there. And you'll see we've got uh, significant storage here in the front uh, baggage area, along with the battery disconnect up front there. Having a look here, we have power stabilizer jacks. Now, most manufacturers only use one motor, so it comes down, and that's how it is. It's not adjustable at all. With this manufacturer, you've got two stabilizer motors, and so you can better equalize it. It's never to be used really for leveling, but just for stability. This unit is also prepped for tire pressure monitoring sensors as well. You've got a power awning here, so very easy to use, just a touch of a button. Covers most of the coach, which is really nice. You've got LED lighting on top, nice touch there as well. You can see the oversized windows on the campsite here, <clears throat> even a window here in the uh, door and a window you can look out the kitchen. Over here you got a nice lend a hand so nice for easy access inside and out. We've got our connections here this is for a spray port comes with a hose to wash things off. You've got your TV hookups there electrical hookups over here. This is the furnace exhaust and you've got a fill for the fresh water tank. You got nice aluminum rims instead of the cheap white painted rims that are on most trailers. And you've got Goodyear tires. Very few manufacturers in the RV industry use the top of the line Goodyear tires. Underneath the axles are torsion axles, which gives you more independent suspension. Gives you a nicer ride. And also you've got a BAL frame. It's the BAL frame manufacturer. That's a top of the line frame. And instead of using welds over there, they use huck bolting. And if you have a look here, I can uh, demonstrate. So huck bolts will never break. They use them on transport trucks in the trucking industry. So there's an example there. Nice powder coated frame, so a better quality paint on that as well. Here you've got a propane quick connect, so you can run appliances off of that. Moving around to the back of the trailer, we've got a spare tire and carrier. Underneath the spare tire, you'll notice there's a two inch receiver hitch for bikes and other accessories. This spare tire is movable, so it's easy to move it out of the way if needed. Most trailers don't come with a ladder, but this trailer does come with a ladder and a great feature just for maintaining the roof and checking that out. It's also prepped for the rear camera as well. So earlier we talked about the side cameras that it's prepped for, also prepped for the rear camera. Moving along to the side, we've got our water heater. This is a two-way water heater. Some manufacturers only have a gas water heater. This is gas and electric. So two-way water heater. You got your outdoor shower here to wash off the pets, dirt, that kind of thing. Comes with the hose and it's hot and cold. We've got our water hook up here. And also we have a sewer tank flush, so if you want to clean out the sewer tank, just hook up a hose here, open your dump valve, great way to clean it out. You've got your cable and satellite hookups here, and your electrical hookup as well. Over here you'll notice at the bottom, these power stabilizer jacks are also manual, so you can crank it manually if wanted. Right there is the manual uh, override. You've got your dumping station down there with the black and the gray dump. So over here we've again got our pass-through storage. Inside here you'll see we've got our battery disconnect. So if you bring your trailer to storage place and you don't want to come back to a dead battery, you can simply disconnect the battery this way. Over here you'll see this is prepped for a side mounted camera as well. It's the prep. And we've got an extra spot for a solar panel. So it does come with a solar panel on the roof, but you've got an additional place you could hook up the solar panel right there. A large window to the bedroom, which you can see also from the uh, inside. And here you've got your standard slide out. We notice we have a solid front cap. This is a more higher end approach to the front cap. Some manufacturers will use metal. Uh, this is a nice hard fiberglass and it's also aerodynamic. It's sculpted upwards. You'll notice you've got the three year structural warranty. So you have one year bumper to bumper, one or two years in appliances, depending on the appliance manufacturer, and you have three year structural as well. So that's on key components like the frame, the fiberglass, etc. You have your propane tank cover over here, obviously, and your power tongue jack. 
which is very uh, makes it very easy to put the trail up and down. A little light on it as well. Your battery goes up front here as well. Over here, you've got a nice place you can store your seven-way plug so it doesn't go on the ground. And over here, I'm going to demonstrate another way for the Winnebago uh, quality. You've got this is your emergency breakaway release. So a lot of manufacturers have a long metal standard contraption, which often gets torn up, gets caught on the road. So Winnebago's put some more money into this and has a nice spring type effect here for the emergency breakaway. This way it doesn't drag on the road. So we're inside the 2024 Winnebago Micro Mini 2108 DS. And we're gonna give you a tour of the bedroom area first. You'll notice here you have a Murphy bed. This is probably one of the easiest to use Murphy beds in the RV industry. Uh, just one hand, you've got the bed up and then you have your couch underneath. The advantage of this is that you don't need like a 30 foot trailer in order to get your front bed and a couch. It's all combined and condensed into one. So I'll just demonstrate the Murphy bed. Again, it's on gas shocks, really easy to operate. And we've got our couch that lifts up like this. Then during the day, you can converse with the people on the dinette. You can watch the TV, etc. You'll notice here we've got some great storage cabinetry on other sides of the bed. And also beneath the couch, you've got these oversized storage drawers to pull out. So they really fit storage wherever possible. On the sides here, you've got two oversized windows, which are great for letting light in, great for seeing what's going on outside, enjoying the views of nature. So love what they did there. You've also on this side got storage cabinets that open up. They have clothing hangers inside the cabinets both sides of the bed and then also a shelf on top as well it's hard to see now at this point but you've got shelves right on along the top there also got a privacy curtain there for dividing off the bedroom area moving on to the dinette area you'll see we got a nice booth dinette this is an easy lift table it easily goes up and down supported by a gas shock and of course this goes down to a bed you'll notice that we've got storage doors that open up here on both sides so that way you don't have to tear up all the cushions you can directly access your storage right underneath i'm going to be pointing out some highlights of the winnebago quality so this is a top of the line unit and when i say that i've got to back it up and so i'll use some specific things here if you zero in on this here this support you'll see that this is real lumber here it's not particle board real lumber so they call that lumber core so that's an example there of the type of wood that they use in the floor most manufacturers in a fiberglass unit will use styrofoam. The problem with styrofoam is after five or 10 years, you can get soft spots in the floor. This manufacturer uses plywood tongue and groove flooring, which is the best in the industry to give you a solid floor for life. Moving on here to the TV area, we got a nice TV on a swivel as well, swivels and turns. And beneath it, you've got a place for your phone to sit. So it's actually a phone charger here as well. Kind of unique. You've got your sound system right up there with some storage. Off to the side here is their AC controls. And over here you've got a nice little storage area here for different goodies. Moving on to the fridge, you've got a two-door fridge and freezer. Okay, this is roughly an 11 cubic fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge, so when you're plugged into the campsite, it goes off the campsite. When you're driving down the road, it goes off the battery of your RV, which is also powered by your solar panel that's on the roof. So this unit actually comes with a solar panel. Over here in our kitchen area, we have a three burner stove top with a glass stove top cover to give you more counter space. Over here up top, we got a convection microwave grill all in one. And this also leaves you with an extra large pot and pan drawer right below. They've covered up the converter over here, really nice touch. You've got your sink here, countertop covers. You've got a stainless steel sink here instead of a plastic sink and a nice pull down faucet. Got some nice cupboards up here. And down below, you have pull drawers as well. Nice little thing for your sink cloths there. Got a countertop extender, gives you more room there. Having a look at the bathroom area here, you'll notice we got the porcelain toilet instead of the plastic toilet, more of a top of the line approach. 
We got our sliding pocket door here, very functional. Over here in the corner, you'll see you have really deep uh, storage closets here, also with uh, with a spot to hang your clothes as well. There's a clothing hanger in there. Underneath the sink, you've got another storage area there. Looking at the sink, it's got a nice metal sink instead of the plastic, good quality. You got your little uh, medicine cabinet over here as well. Looking at the shower, extra large shower, more residential style. You can stand up in it, you got lots of room. You got a nice tub surround here and a skylight as well for more headroom. You've got the ceiling fan located above me right over here. So wrapping up upper tour of the Micro Mini 2108 DS, just a few more highlights. This trailer is seven feet wide. The standard trailer width is eight feet wide. So the benefit of this is that you don't need towing mirrors when towing. And it's kind of a smaller profile that makes it great for towing with SUVs, smaller pickup trucks, really geared towards that market. Also underneath the trailer, you have a fully enclosed underbelly. It's heated and enclosed. It also has tank heaters. Uh, so great for an extended season camping and very, very well insulated unit from top to bottom as well. Feel free to come down to our dealership here. Uh, we're located in downtown Smithville in the Niagara region. All of our inventory is located at smithvillerv.com and all the pricing is transparently put on the website. All you have to do is add the HST, no hidden fees. So feel free to come down for a tour. Also, we'd love you to like and subscribe our video so that way we can bring you more of these. See you in the next video.